be here. Um, I wasn't always happy though um, when I was a kid um, growing up with a name like Scott. Uh, you don't have to have the sick writing skills of uh, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, or Dr. Seuss for that matter to see that Scott rhymes very much with snot. <laughs> and with a handle like Scott the Snot, you can probably imagine how things went down for me on the playground. <laughs> Started with this, <laughs> moved on with a little bit of this, <laughs> sometimes one of these, <laughs> and I spent a lot of time doing this. <laughs> it didn't get much better after that. Dating wasn't so kind to me either. <laughs> For a while, dated a girl named Cynthia. Cynthia, you see, she was a fashion designer. She designed and made her own clothes. She's always well put together. She can see the workout in the end. <laughs> but that was okay. I found her to be too materialistic. <laughs> but I'm happily married now, and I can say that because um, I've been married now for almost 10 years. A lot of people would say that being married for 10 years, that's a milestone, and I would have to agree. There's plenty of days when I feel like I've been carrying a stone for miles. <laughs> Very large stone for miles and miles and miles. <laughs> So I googled myself the other day, turns out that I'm an African-American rapper. <laughs> now come on Google, anybody can see I'm not a rapper. <laughs> on black and white, any dog lovers here? True story for you, 1634 was the year the first Dalmatian was spotted. Oh. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a while. If Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben hooked up, would their love child be light, white, and fluffy? <laughs> So, last year for Father's Day, my four-year-old son gave me two tickets to the monster truck. Now, I love my son, but I loathe the monster truck show. Yeah. I'm looking at my wife and saying, what the F? She's, oh, it's okay. It'll be fun. A little father and son time. <laughs> right. A little father and son time. While well, you're lying on the couch in your pajamas, binge watching Netflix, and eating cheesies, I'm gonna be at the monster truck show. It'll be fun. Fast forward a couple of months off we are at the monster truck show. Day starts off great, stand out in the rain for 30 minutes before we let it get in. We finally get in, and what do they see? Not the monster trucks. <coughs> Not the monster trucks. The merchandise tables. <laughs> My little guy's eyes light up like those sparklers he put on a birthday cake. <laughs> and I'm thinking, all I can see in my mind's eye is some redneck prick in a boardroom in North Carolina. <laughs> I'm a telling you, Ray Ray, if we can slap a logo on it, we can sell it at the dang old monster truck show. <laughs> and he wasn't kidding. God, monster truck stuffies and Hot Wheels trucks and posters and bandanas and Zippo lighters and flags and my favorite is the one gallon slurpy filled grave digger cup with the flashing red headlight. <laughs> now let me tell you people, I've seen this movie before. This weekend, monster truck show. Next weekend, overtime. <laughs> so we grab up his little hand, and get up into the line, and we start making our way to the front, credit card in hand, lambs to the slaughter. <laughs> Daddy, I want a, a monster truck. And daddy, I want a flag. And daddy, I want a, I, I want a poster. I was like, you know what, kid? I want an Advil. Okay? <laughs> Just then I make eye contact with this other dad. Without missing a beat, he says to me, 
Spear and hoots, man. <laughs> Spear and hoots. Beer and hoots? What does that even mean, beer and hoots? Well, anyways, there's just one guy left in front of us. You can see the finish line, it's starting to be good. Get up in front of him, he's like standing there. Dude, you've been in line for 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes of my life I'm never gonna get back. You better fucking pick something. <laughs> and I mean like right now. I'm just getting ready to strangle this guy. Another t-shirt vendor says to me, sir, I can help you over here. I grab my little guy, get over there. I say, okay, buddy, you've been good, you've been patient. We spent 30 minutes in the rain, 15 minutes in line behind that asshole. Bad word, daddy. Really? <laughs> like I was saying, you've been patient, you've been good. What do you want? Anything here, you can have, what is it that you want? And he looks at me, his little blue eyes, and says, Daddy, I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dunkers here with us. Brothers and sisters all here to support us. Let's bring it over the judges. All right, excellent set, Mr. Tyler. Uh, if you're writing checks, I'll take one. That could help over here as well. Um, I would say the most impressive part of your set was you talked about monster trucks for two and a half, three minutes, and you did not once say Monster Jam or Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I didn't think it was possible. So congratulations. Um, I thought you were good. You're very confident up there. Uh, I would say that's a bit easier win. The whole crowd you brought, but you look good walking around. You move. Around. I like the way you came to each corner of the stage and used the whole stage. And I thought you did a good job at that. And uh, I just like that it was a good, honest story about you and your son. I believe that that actually happened. And I also learned to have monster truck Zippos, which <laughs> who buys that? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, that's all I got, though. Yeah, good set. Man. Excellent. Frazier Tough. Uh, is it your birthday or something, Scott? Or <laughs> like, do this many people always follow you? Around? <laughs> So if I want to have a party and I want a bunch of people to be there, I just have to invite Scott. <laughs> Sick, man. Hey, uh, yeah, actually, I was wondering about the Grave Digger Slurpee Cup with the flashing red lights, and I'm not shitting you, like, if you get your hands on it. <laughs> my dress after. How many times have you done this? Uh, this is the fifth time. Fifth time. Uh, you have, uh... You have the poise of a man who is who's been on stage many more times. Your timing is excellent. You are very confident, and you just let the jokes play out, let people laugh. Uh, I thought you did a really good job, man. Uh, I thought that yeah, I thought you look you look like a pro out there, not an amateur. So good job, dude. Facebook friend comes to life. I like it. Uh, what made you start doing comedy in your 40s? Oh, okay. Well, um, when I was 19 years old, somebody said... Okay, we're going to have to go faster. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, bilingual. So when I was 19, there was a guy I was working with, and he said to me, he said, you know, Scott, you're pretty funny in English and French, so maybe you should try this out. And uh, uh, it's two chicken. And then finally, um, a lot of things happen. It's just 20 years in the making, literally. And then, you know, just like, I have to do this. It's kind of like my quest. And so, here we are. <laughs> I knew it! Um, I have to ask because I started comedy when I was 40. So, um, and it was the same reason. It was just too terrifying. So, um, congratulations for doing that. Because God forbid we live with regrets and wonder what would have happened if we'd done it. Um, I, you obviously were very well rehearsed. You knew your stuff without, beyond a shadow of a doubt. You, I liked your pace. You know, considering that it's your fifth time, I would expect you to be rushing just because of nerves, but you weren't. 
Um, clearly, you have a very good support system here. <laughs> and that's, that's cool because it's, it's not an easy thing to do and you're alone a, a lot of the time. Um, I would just say with, the, with your mic technique, if you're going to take the mic out, just put the stand off to the side so you don't have that barrier between you and the audience. Or, you know, I was watching your set and I'm like, you know what, you'd probably be fine doing the whole thing without the mic stand. You know what I mean? And so maybe just get rid of it and then it, um, it, it just stays out of the way and make sure that you don't uh, dance around with the mic cord too much um, just so that it doesn't distract people. But otherwise, for five times on stage, dude, awesome. Hey. <laughs>